I now want to look at an important kind of statement in predicate calculus called the universal conditional statement. We start by taking two predicates, p of x and q of x. And joining them together by the conditional symbol. So we get p of x entails q of x. By itself, this expression is neither true nor false. However, if we attach the universal quantifier to the expression, we get for all x, p of x entails q of x. Okay, this expression does have a truth value. This expression is saying for all x in D, P of x entails Q of x is true. Okay, for example, let, um, let D be Z plus, the set of all positive integers, and P of X, let P of X be the predicate X is bigger than 3 and less than 6. and q of x, let that be the predicate x is bigger than 2 and less than 7. Okay, then for all x, p of x entails q of x, this is saying that every positive integer between 3 and 6 is between 2 and 7. Okay, and if this is so, then this statement here is true. Um, if it's not so, then this statement is false. Since any positive integer greater than 3 is greater than 2, and any positive integer less than 6 is also less than 7, our statement for all x, p of x entails q of x is true. Okay, let's do an example. Let d be the set of real numbers. Consider the statement for all x, x squared is bigger than 1 and tails x is bigger than 1. Okay, show that this statement is false. The statement says for all real numbers x, If x squared is bigger than 1, then x is bigger than 1. Okay, now to show that this statement is false, all we need to do is find one real number x such that 
x squared is bigger than 1, but x is not bigger than 1. Okay, so let x be minus 2. Okay, then minus 2 squared is 4, which is bigger than 1. But minus 2 is not bigger than 1. Okay, so we found a real number x such that x squared is bigger than 1, but x is not bigger than 1. So this statement here um, is false. Let's do another example. Let D be the set of all positive integers. And suppose P of X is the predicate X is a factor of 4. And Q of X is the predicate X is a factor of 8. Consider the statement for all X, P of X entails Q of X. Show that this statement is true. Okay, the statement says that for all positive integers, x, if x is a factor of 4, then x is a factor of 8. Okay, now to show that this statement is true, we need to show that any number x that makes p of x true also makes q of x true. Um, in other words, we, we have to show that any number in the true set of P of X is a number in the true set of Q of X. Okay, now the true set of P of X is the set containing 1, 2, and 4, since those are all the factors of 4. The true set of Q of X is the set containing 1, 2, 4, and 8 since those are the factors of 8. Okay, now since every number in this set is also um, a number in this set, we, we know that the statement um, for all x, p of x entails q of x is true. Okay.